Victims are usually oblivious to black magic. Even the most seasoned spiritualist is usually oblivious to black magic. See, the average individual is taught in society that if you believe in the power of sorcery, then it will have power over you. If you don't believe, it will not have power over you. Well, back in the day when I was a youngster, I would always say, rather I say, me and my mentor had the belief that it was better when your target did not believe. And this is why we always went to great lengths to keep our victims ignorant. Some of you people like to get up and you know talk to your lover about yes, I'm practicing, you know, I'm, I'm looking up tarot cards. Oh, I'm in the gemstones, I'm in the crystals. Why would you do that? Why? If anything, you should be telling them that you do not practice such things. If anything, you want to make it seem like those that is evil and wicked. Shit. Tell them anything. Say that you're Muslim. Say that you're Christian. When you start revealing your cards, that's when you get exposed. When you start talking about, oh, you know, I'm into this, I'm into that, you know, I'm burning incense here. So now when you go to do something to that person, they're going to automatically know it was you. All fingers will always point to you. The majority of people are oblivious to witchcraft and sorcery. They don't believe in it. And that's the way it should be. If you're going to play this game, you got to be the one on top. And they have to be at the bottom. That's the only way this is going to work. Whether it's a love situation you're dealing with, and whether it's just business in general. It's got to be the boss, and it's got to be the employees. There can be no other way around this. It's got to be the seller, and it's got to be the consumer. There's no need for you to get out here and you know, well, let's go to the crystal shop, or you know, let's go, to, let's go to the botanica, let's go get the, you know, let, 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 let's go, let's, you know, no, no, there's none of that. When you're dealing with people, or whether it's a relationship, that becomes closed off. That becomes closed off, especially if the person's not spiritual. Because now, if that person, let's just say, tries to leave you and you try to do work on them, they're going to know where it's coming from. Whatever tragedy they experience, they're going to they're going to associate it with you. That's why your lover has to remain ignorant to what you're doing, especially if they're already carnal. If they're not in the trades, they're not in the way of life that you're into, Keep them fucking ignorant. But outside of that, I will repeat this again. Most people don't know or they're pretty much oblivious to what real black magic is or what the experience is. Some people think that black magic rituals take about a couple of days to hit them I would say don't educate them some people think it takes about a week or a month or days whatsoever no again keep them ignorant nope you're absolutely right in reality there is no time frame on black magic there is no statute of limitations on black magic <laughs> I've seen people wither away. People that look like <laughs> I've seen people go from looking like from 20 from people being in their 20s to looking like they was in their 40s. 
Yeah, that's how that stuff manifests. That thing will sit on a person and it'll suck them dry. And the people going through it, they won't even realize it. Sometimes you be questioning, sometimes you be asking yourself, don't this motherfucker realize that they're getting older and older and they're only in their 20s? <laughs> Some people don't even realize that how the fuck you got, how the fuck you 25 with gray hair, with gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, you know, you, you, you begin to wonder why is this motherfucking hair falling out? You know, they're they they're in their twenties or whatever, you know, early thirties, and their hair is falling out. You know, they they go into the bathroom, they're brushing their hair, and they don't even realize it, <laughs> and they just think that they're just getting old. They're just a natural part of life. That's why they say in Haitian culture. Or if you want to say it like this, which means machetes or knives that pass in the water never make any mark. Why do we say this? Because you'll never know the difference. Whether you'll never know the difference. You'll never know if it's natural or unnatural. 